What's up, guys? It's your boy Schwack, and I'm here with my dude, C Daddy. He's not in the frame, but you know what we're about to do? Get on some freaking toads. Let's get it. If y'all watch my first two videos, y'all know the deal. White and chartreuse chatterbait. Always got to start off with it. Just kind of cast, cast far, and just, you know, see if I can even get a little, little bit of a reaction strike from some of these bass or not. My friend Brent, which y'all probably see him in a lot of videos. We haven't got a chance to actually go fishing in a while. <coughs> We've both been really busy. But um, just right around this area, he's caught, he's caught multiple four, four and a half pound bass. Oh, I already got freaking smacked right there. What the? Oh, I don't know if y'all could have seen that. Bro, I've already gotten three bites right here. Really? Yeah. Yup. What? Yup. Yeah, Hell yeah. You ever put a trailer on it? Yeah, I always do. This water is sort of clear. Oh yeah, the grape, what? the grape, yeah. yes sir. Do I have a fish? Yeah, I do. Hey, Dude, as soon as it hit the water, I wasn't even paying attention. Look at that, fish number one. Like, oh, he destroyed my trailer. Pop it out, little bitty guy. He's really pretty, he has like no lateral line whatsoever. Huh. Took about 10 casts, that was, that's not bad. Of course, you know, it's a recurring theme. Forgot to turn the GoPro on again. I just put this new trailer on and took one cast and like right here at my feet. Dude, you just, another little guy. He didn't have much, I can't freaking talk. He doesn't have much of a lateral line either. See ya. I'm just kind of casting around all this brush and there's, there's some grass. The water's lower than it has been recently because of all the rain. But um, <coughs> just casting around all this cover and they're right where they should be. The wind's kind of blowing in from the, uh, what would that be? Southeast, blowing all back into these trees and all. That's what I like to see, honestly. Ton of grasshoppers out. Used in for some good old fishing, buddy. What? what? Dude, my line just started swimming off in that direction over there. I didn't even feel the fish. Probably a little bitty guy. Crazy story. So, that guy over there, his name's actually Carter, too. He's bumping some Coetzel. Well, uh, of course, me not having the GoPro on. Caught another dinker. Look at this little fella. So it's the same fish biting my bait every single time. <laughs> same size. Same no lateral lines. Yeah. Uh. All right, and I'll see ya. That is my third fish of the day. Dude, I, 
I don't even know. I suck at freaking math, so like, I would have had four. So yeah, three. I'm. I was over there earlier fishing <coughs> for the last two fish catches y'all saw, and now I'm kind of casting parallel to the to the bank off the grass line right there, seeing if any mondos are lurking, boys. Can probably pull a few out from here. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I y'all saw that. I spooked a. It looked like a big one. That's a freaking bluegill. I could see him eat that, that was cool. That was a pretty fat bluegill, I'm not gonna lie. I'm, looking, I'm waiting for that Mondo to come strike. Just making like 15 foot casts around these trees. No, this definitely isn't the, oh, ow, oh. Just freaking hook myself in the nose. Dude, pro fisherman right here. Little bitty bass. I didn't even try to set the hook on him, honestly. Oh, that was another little fish. Seems like all the babies are hanging around over here, so I'm trying to draw their mama out. Come on, baby. There we go. Oh, another little one. Dude, where are all the big fish at? This one's, this one's just a tad bit bigger. <coughs> doesn't have, on, doesn't have anything on them at all. See you buddy. That's number four? Yeah, number four. Okay, let's go with it. <coughs> Bluegill! <laughs> well, I guess I am catching him today. This is the second ever species, species you boys have seen me catch here on the channel. Ah! Chill out, good buddy. What are you doing? I guess I'm just gonna whip you. Look at that, that's a bluegill. Size of my hand, pretty little bugger. Go right back to your home. All right, I mean, not bad. If y'all want a tip on flipping or pitching or anything, I mean, I'm not the greatest at it. It's hard, I'll give them that. <coughs> I'll give them that. Like, your line, you gotta, you gotta take it out sometimes. You get a little bit of slack in there. But I'd reel it up to about even, even with your reel. And of course, don't put your hand over the hook. So that's how you get yourself but i kind of like to do it on like the back of my hook or you can just kind of hold the pinchers of it or something but you just kind of you go like this you click and you kind of sling her and you don't want to sling her or release too high you'll back on the release too low just right at that point just flip around in there what's up guys if you made it to the end thank you for watching today was a decent day how many fish did you catch five or six five or six I caught like six bass and that one pretty good sized bluegill um yeah got a bluegill on the soft plastic craw dude yeah he was he's pretty fat too bigger than like two of the bass I caught but yeah thank y'all subscribe like the video and I'll see you next time